There's a strange cultural phenomenon that's quietly swept the globe without much of a challenge. Around the clock, mass surveillance. It hasn't been handed down by overzealous governments, and it's not a result of overreaching private companies either. It's worse than that. We paid for it. We opted in, as they call it. And the results? Well, the results are devastating and completely predictable. The Intercept recently published a story that spoke with sources at Amazon's video doorbell product, Ring. For the uninitiated, Ring is a video camera slash doorbell that monitors everything that happens in front of your house. There's also a popular suite of indoor security cameras that monitor everything that happens inside your home. The report described serious lapses of basic security and privacy, and it is littered with truly hair-raising anecdotes. For example, Amazon keeps every single video recorded from every Ring device in the world on a run-of-the-mill folder on a server. Ring provided its Ukraine-based research and development team virtually unfettered access to a folder on Amazon's S3 cloud storage service that contained every video created by every Ring camera around the world. Apparently, anyone with access only need to click on the video to watch it. They're not even encrypted because that would make the company less valuable. In other words, these videos are less secure than a 14-year-old miscellaneous folder on their desktop. The Ukrainian team, by the way, are a third-party company brought in to help with another part of the Amazon business. So these highly sensitive files are being accessed by people who are not even directly employed by Amazon. Am I the only person who got access to these files? It's literally just me, isn't it? Are they deliberately widening the pool of people who can look at this shit? It gets worse. At the same time, the source said, Rig unnecessarily provided executives and engineers in the US with highly privileged access to the company's technical support video portal, allowing unfiltered, round-the-clock live feeds from some customer cameras, regardless of whether they needed access to this extremely sensitive data to do their jobs. Why? I don't think there's anything sinister going on here. I don't think Amazon and Ring are deliberately using security that's as useful as a chocolate fire guard. It's just human error. That's not to let them off the hook, but let's be honest. We've all known people who have a hmm, casual attitude towards work. I can fully understand showing off some restricted shit to a new friend at work. But the problem is, that restricted shit is a live video feed of your home. It gets worse. The source also recounted instances of ring engineers teasing each other about people they brought home. I think it's fair to say we are well past creepy here. It's not just Amazon either. Uber has form here too. In 2014, then senior vice president Emil Michael floated the idea of doing opposition research on a journalist as a result of unfavorable coverage. The indication being that it has deeply personal information about the location of journalists using the app. At the time, Uber clarified that any such activity would be a clear violation of its privacy and data access policies. Yeah, no shit. But two years later, Uber employees regularly abuse the company's God view to spy on the movements of high-profile politicians, celebrities, and even personal acquaintances of Uber employees. This invasion of privacy isn't the only concern. Other smart home products like Nest capitulated to US authorities and handed over surveillance footage of inside the home of a suspected criminal. Two years ago, Roomba, the robot vacuum cleaner, was caught out when its CEO offhandedly mentioned in a Reuters interview that it might sell indoor mapping data to Google, Apple, and Amazon. What that means is those cute circular robots are busy sucking up information about the precise coordinates in your home. How many rooms there are, what time you're home, and what particular rooms you're in at any given time. Time, time, time. Yeah, okay. It's not exactly the hellscape of a legion of heavily armed T-1000s, but this is where it starts. Tiny robot surveyors. It's not that uncommon for authorities to request personally identifiable data from tech companies for their investigations, which is in itself worrying. But staff collecting, storing and sharing your personal data, I mean literal feeds inside your home, and then laughing and joking about your life, that's something that we should all worry about. Part of the issue is just how valuable data has become, and the more personal the better. So companies that just used to make run-of-the-mill home products know they can make an extra buck from monitoring your home and movements. That's why there's this mad proliferation of these smart devices at shows like CES. Smart fridges, smart toasters, smart beds, and on and on and on. As they say in Mother Russia, you don't buy the product, 
the product buys you. I've been John Hood, this is Point. Thanks for watching and see you next time. There has never been a more important time to support independent media and investigative journalism. So if you like the work we do, then subscribe to our channel, send us tips, and most importantly, if you can, pledge to our Patreon and help keep us going and keep us uncovering these stories. Cheers.